Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie. If you're here today, we're going to talk about the Ghana Black Stars upcoming international game in June. Henry Asante Chum, the communications director of the Ghana Football Association, has also been defending uh, the quality of Ghana football, talking about the fact that it is not dead, as some people are insinuating. He also commended Iñaki Williams on his uh, a win in the, over the weekend, the trophy win with Athletic Bilbao. And uh, we also talk about uh, the uh, Black Stars uh, venue for the game, uh, for the game between Ghana and Mali, the home game. It's unfortunate, but it looks like Ghana might not be able to play that game here in the country uh, because we do not have a suitable stadium. We'll look at all that today but as usual don't forget to subscribe if you have not uh, click on that notification bell to get more updates we we'll jump right into it and uh, talk first of all about the venue for the ghana black stars game uh, with mali now a great 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 performance by dreams fc so far the calf confederations a cap making it all the way to the semi-final but they and the ghana black stars are under threat of not having a venue for that game dreams fc are in the semis and uh, the venue for the semis is probably going to be an issue for the black stars they could be playing their game against mali in another country according uh, to reports now according to a uh, kumasi based kesben fm the babaira sports stadium does not meet the federation of international football association uh, that's fifa standard of hosting category of matches including world cup qualifiers report adds uh, that recent inspections by officials from cap have led to, to the discovery of several challenges uh, with the stadium uh, which makes it unfit to host the game it would uh, be recalled that in 2002, uh, in the lead up to the World Cup qualifiers, CAF made some uh, decisions that was given to Ghana to enable them to host uh, the Nigeria game. And uh, they have not been fulfilled in over two years. The match against Mali is scheduled to take place in the international break in June. Ghana is fourth in the group which is Group I of the 2020 qualifiers. And as you already know, 26, 26 World Cup qualifiers is going to take place in June. And the top team, the first nine teams in all of the groups will qualify automatically for the World Cup. Then the uh, best second, four best second place team will play in the playoff game, an intercontinental playoff with just one joining, possibly making 10 African countries. So that is the pickle we find ourselves in right now. We do not have a venue for this game uh, between Ghana and Mali because the Babayara Sports Stadium, which was used initially by Mediama SC and Dreams FC for their CAF interclub competition games, could possibly not meet the standards according uh, to what FIFA wants to be done. CAF gave Ghana pardon in 2022. Uh, they have not fulfilled that a requirement that is needed of them and uh, it's going to be an issue if it is not sorted and that could mean we'll play outside henry asante Chum, the communications director of the ghana football association has uh, talked about uh, uh, the argument about whether uh, ghana football is dead he spoke about the achievements of dreams fc which in my opinion is an anomaly uh, if you ask me it doesn't really indicator gave us a real a determinant of whether Ghana football is on the rise. But Henry Aksanti Chum has pushed back at critics who label Ghana football as a dead product. Chum emphasizes the positive strides made by various national teams and highlighted uh, Dreams FC's success in the CAF interclub competition. His remarks come amidst criticism directed at the GFA, particularly in light of the Black Stars' recent struggles on the field. Despite this, uh, Chum argues the Ghanaian football is on the upward trajectory, citing notable achievements such as qualification uh, to the women's for the Women's World Cup gold medals won by both men and female teams at and Dreams FCs at the All Africa Games, obviously, and Dreams FCs Cup Confederations Cup triumph. In the context of the word "dead," something that is dead means it doesn't exist. Uh, but you cannot qualify for the under-20 women's World Cup and call yourself a dead product. You cannot make it to the semi-final of the cup, which is, <laughs> as I said, an anomaly. But he'll chalk it up and uh, add it to the achievements. Second elite club competition and see it's the brand is dead. You cannot win the African Games in both male and female competitions and say the product is dead. 
he told Akuma FM. The Black Satellites are now aiming for qualification to the Under-20 2025 World Cup, while the Black Princess is prepared for the Under-20 Women's World Cup for the seventh consecutive time. Meanwhile, Dreams FC, the remarkable uh, journey in the Cup Confederations Cup, uh, stands as a beacon of hope uh, for Ghanaian football, according uh, to Asante Juma. They gave up to face Egyptian giant Zamalek in the semi-final. He acknowledged, however, a concern surrounding the performance of the Black Stars who have struggled in recent times. Yes, I agree. We have challenges. I sit here and I speak as a person who is deeply involved in the day-to-day -day running of our football and know there are challenges. There are a lot of challenges that confront the Ghana football industry. But the going to a tournament and coming back unsuccessful does not make your product dead. Under the new coach of Tuado, Ghana will be facing Mali and Central African Republic in the World Cup qualifiers. And hopefully, uh, we do get through to uh, the World Cup. Hopefully, hopefully. Things have to change drastically. And Harry is of the opinion that when key players return as well, uh, we will uh, be fully fit and strong. We should have all our players fully fit by the time the season ends. So I'm confident that we will be in a strong position to compete very soon. He said, Kudus, Thomas Pate, Amate, Jiku, Gideon Mensah, and all our key players are fit and should be fit and healthy. Uh, Chum also expressed satisfaction with the recent success of Inyaki Williams, who he thinks his first trophy win with Athletic Bilbao will boost his confidence for the Black Stars. So, uh, we do hope that happens. As I said on Monday, I do hope that spurs him on with the Ghana Black Stars in achieving a lot with us. I think Inyaki Williams has been amazing uh, so far this season. Uh, getting that first trophy, 24th Copa del Rey uh, for Athletic Bilbao in 40 years. Wow, that's an amazing feat. And uh, we hope it does spur him on and... Uh, uh, we hope that uh, we do will get a good result in the next two games in June. Talking about that, unfortunately, I'll end here with some sad news as Joseph Painzel uh, suffered racial abuse after his LA Galaxy loss to LAFC. The Black Stars winger was subjected to racial abuse following LA Galaxy's defeat uh, to Los Angeles FC in Major League Soccer. The player shared the racist comment, which was replied to a post he shared on his Instagram. The un unidentified fan abused the Ghanaian for having a poor game. The 2-1 defeat in California on Saturday, 6th April, was LA Galaxy's first loss of the season. Players who played through throttle and ended the game with a 6.8 rating. He joined them in February and so unfortunately racism still goes on. Uh, Monkey couldn't do anything today was the comment and uh, it's unfortunate that racism keeps happening. I just tend to feel sorry for those who are still racist thinking a skin color gives you superiority over someone. Think again. We are not in the dark ages and that is how i'll end today though on the sad note Nyaki williams trophy win will probably hopefully give him confidence that's according to harry asante chum he says ghana football is not dead uh, mentioning all the achievements on the 20 Williams world cup qualification for the seventh consecutive time gold medals in the all africa games for both men and women's football also qualification to the uh, wafu for the first time in uh, claim, i think the last three editions uh, he says uh, they are on the right trajectory. Just the Black Stars, there are some challenges, but should we have all our players fit, we will be ready to go. So let me know your thoughts if you agree with Henry on this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great evening.